Good morning. Let's talk about tracking shutdown and the priorities. And I see a lot of disagreement in the tracking community. Uh, people who are shutting down by blaming the people who are not shutting down. Uh, the people who are not shutting down blaming people who are shutting down. But in all this, most of hate really comes from the people that did shut down against the people who didn't. And I just want to touch base on that. There are a couple of uh, challenges here that I see. First of all, uh, if you did shut down and you have and you have the savings to push through six months, no problem, without falling behind on anything, and you have this one rich success trucker, then good for you, good for you, and thank you. Because your shutdown actually leaves more freight for the people who didn't shut down. Now, for those of you who don't have those savings and still talking about shutdown, well, now let's talk about the priorities. What are your priorities? If you are the guy who says, I'd rather die than run for these rates, I, I get it, you know, good for you. But basically what you're doing in this situation, you, you're pleasing your ego because your ego is more important to you than anything else but when it comes down about you know to the rest of us uh, i'm not gonna shut down uh to keep my ego happy and tell my my wife that i'm sorry honey i'm gonna make no money for the next couple of months i'm not gonna tell my kids uh i'm sorry you know that college that we were talking about forget about it it's out of the window uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put my business down just because I want to prove the point and do I like the race the way we are no uh, but I'm just being realistic I think the there are two th two ways of doing good business uh, and as an owner operator you are a businessman so number one good business is when you make profit right and number two the good business is when you can stay in business because the economy and you know life it doesn't flow in the straight line it goes up and down up and down up and down and if every time it hits you harder you decide that it ain't worth it because i'm not making money the other guy uh the other day was preaching me about how i have no clue what the business is if i'm willing to run for those rates well, I understand the profit versus uh, less profit or nearly no profit. I understand that. But I always wonder what, what are the priorities of the people who say, I'm going to shut down and I don't care. Okay, I, I get it. I, I'm going to shut down and I don't care about me. You know, I'm, I'm going to be fine. But, but I, I can't say I'm going to shut down and I don't care to my wife to my kids, to, to other, you know, people that I'm involved with and uh, the business and house payment, uh, it just, it's just not going to go that way. So I think the biggest question that we all need to answer in tracking community is what are our priorities? Are our priorities just to be this righteous individuals that no matter what, we are the the apex of the righteousness of the world and you know it's my way or my way uh, or or we have other obligations because life doesn't stop because the economy gets a little bit you know shaky life doesn't stop of you know whatever is going on right now life still goes on and i think the priority is life choose life man just choose life there are going to be better times there are going to be worse times but the priority is to live life and not to put people around you through the struggle just to make a point point. and again if you have a uh, you know plenty of money to sustain through the shutdown while park while your truck is parked for the next six months say hey, be my guest and I still wouldn't do that because I don't think we still run in the negative. I think we still run in the positive. And I think that 
we can still make money e even right now we can still make money instead of depleting the the money that you made and now you're just willing to you know live off that right away just because the little bump on the road uh some some of my friends from uh from europe um some of them also in trucking and uh sometimes when i talk to them and and and, and we say that um I actually tell them about some people are you know running 500 miles empty just to prove the point because we didn't like the rate you know what they tell me they tell me that we have so good here that we are blind to see how good we got because back in europe a lot of a lot of companies and truckers and owner operators we don't make enough money to cover for a 500 miles of running empty diesel that would put them out of business and that's just another point you know i don't think it's that bad i i really don't think is there better days absolutely but it is not that bad we just we just have to see for what it is we just have to focus on the on the on the goals and worry less about the ego because again uh, that's one thing that, if you ask me, puts most people out of business. And what, what, what's a goal to you? Is your goal in this whole trucking adventure of yours, is your goal to prove a point? Or is your goal to have a successful business and have a great life? Peace out, Super Truckers.